Okay, so welcome everyone to this uh, introduction to Telehack, which is a uh, project started by a guy named, uh, pretty sure his real name isn't Forbin, but his name, on the, his username on Telehack is Forbin. He basically created this, um, this giant simulation, that's okay, that's normal, uh, called Telehack, which is, um, It's this 80s kind of retro simulation of hacking where you, you can go through and look at all the commands. Or, uh, most of these are kind of like novelty commands, but uh, really the main ones that you would want to be focused on are ones like netstat. Of course, you have to be logged in to do that, and how you log in is you say, new user. You say yes, you've read the privacy policy, and go down there. Then you have to be at least 13 years or older, but you know, there's no way they can really check, honestly. But I'm not exactly sure why that is 13 years or older, but you know, no, we are not under. And then I'll ask for a username. You type in whatever. I'm not going to do that because I already have one. You type in that, and then it'll ask for your password. And then if you already have then you can just type login and your username and it'll come up with little stars and your password must be at least six characters. So I logged in here and um, you can have up to three uh, terminals open which this is just in um, This is just in command prompt in Windows 7. Also works on uh, Windows 8 and 10, and um, as far down as um, well, really anything, I believe, even like down to Windows 98 and 95, etc. Because it's uh, it's hosted on Telnet. You can also. Uh, find it on, uh, it would probably be a lot easier for most people. You can find it on telehack.com. The same thing, it's just in your browser, but to my knowledge, you won't be able to run three of them. So it's, for me, it's a lot easier just to run it in a command prompt here. If you want to get through to it in command prompt, I just exited that real quick to be able to open a new one and show you. What you type in is uh, telnet telehack.com and there it'll connect you like that. And um, another thing that you'll have to do is enable the telnet client on your version of Windows, which you can look that up elsewhere on YouTube. Um, I'm not going to Take up the video for that, and I'm leaving this over here because I want to keep it kind of short. But um, I don't want to be dragging it on for like an hour, an hour and thirty minutes or something. I wanted to see if I could keep it under fifteen minutes because it's just supposed to be a brief overview, which is also why I'm talking just slightly fast. My fingers aren't coordinated very well yet. I've been playing Fallout using the controller instead of typing, so I have to give my uh, low typing and mistakes. Uh -huh. So, basically what uh, the, the basis of this is, is, um, well, it's a community. You can type in who, and it'll give you the port number there. Um, supposed to be connected to. Like I said, this is a simulation. This isn't any actual hacking. Like when you type in netstat, this isn't actually Oracle. This isn't actually any university of anything in real life. This is a, a virtualized simulation of the, uh, the 
university and corporations that would have existed like in the 1980s. Like if you um, type LS, which is list, it'll list all the programs thing. And then you type hack.txt, it'll give you uh, the uh, what is it? brief overview in text. Telehack is a simulation stylized on ARPANET slash Usenet in circa 1985 to 1990. So when you see all those cool uh, hacker movies like Snickers and Hackers and then the 90s and stuff, this is and really um, I think Terminator briefly has a little bit of hacking on screen, but um, this is what basically what it is, which I think is kind of neat. This guy Forbin has uh, set it up, and you can go through and read all of this. I won't take time because I wanted to keep it kind of short. I might come back and do a guided tutorial video on if people like it or if I uh, just feel like it, but you can go through here and it cancel out of anything. You just type control C and it'll back you out. This is a uh, community as I was saying. So these are the ports for people and uh, their username. They have a status, how long they have been uh, on or on last, what command they're running and where they're located. And uh, some people use VPN, some people don't. I uh, I personally use a VPN, so it's like I don't want people seeing my location. There was this um, one chick on here a long time ago. I don't think she's still on here, but she might. She had uh, her location as uh, unknown, or not listed. Or was it even like a, a regular location? may not have been on in a long time. It would take a lot longer to go through this, but anyway. There's that. Yeah, the basis on how you do this is um, your net stat, which is network statistics or um, net view, which is kind of like what it would be in Windows now. It'll show you all the hosts that you're connected to and uh, ones that you already have login for. It'll have this little asterisk by. And the ones that you have root for, it'll have um, an exclamation point. And basically, root is. Um, I'll go ahead and kind of show you real quick. Uh, this is it. Uh, login poverty. Root is, um, it'll let you set the message of the day. It's kind of like a marking your territory like a tiger or a hacker. As in, you have root, you can run uh, a super user shell on this. You can run things that you can run programs like this uh, kill proc requires a root to hold on, I'll fix it out of this root shell and see if it. See, it says root required, so then you su and run that kill proc again for a side note for uh, the proc. The programs, the .exes, you don't always have to type the .exe if you're just on the shell interface. But if you're on uh, FTP, which I'll get to here in a second, 
and uh, you need to type the .exe because it's a syntax um, issue. And uh, anything else you need to type in like the .dat for data or .txt for text file, etc. And then you would in question and this one only has one uh, host which is dartback really really kind of is not good because dartbacks is run by this dude name or it is rooted by this dude named agraj he is um he's been on here for three and a half years four years now and he 